right, welcome back. Random TV Reviews, your girl, Lynette. And your boy, Stanley. What the heck was that? <laughs> it couldn't whistle. I can't whistle either. But anyway. I can't whistle tonight. I can whistle. Um, this was a crazy episode. Yeah. You take too long. This was a crazy Stanley. episode, man. We real YouTubers now. Huh? We real YouTubers. What that supposed to mean? We got to do the stuff right so YouTube don't come in here and say you five. I don't so, even care no more. For all Shoot. of you all that are new subscribers, welcome to the God Doing channel. And if y'all are old family members, y'all yeah. know what to do and y'all know what to expect. So let's go ahead. And again, this, is good. this was a good God Doing episode. Yeah. Yo, oh, subscribe, like, do all that. Yeah, Just do like all, if you want yeah, to, it is what it is. Do all that. All ratings matter. Yeah. Small black YouTubers matter. But I don't want to get too excited because Tyler know how to drop a ninja off the cliff when he start to feel good about the show. All right, so we're going to start off. We're going to jump around a whole lot, but at yeah, the end gonna, of the yeah, week, yeah. we all roads going to lead to Ford Motor Company. Yeah. So, we got the scene where we left off last week where Justin had broken into Wyatt's apartment, right, with the crowbar. Well, Justin got the upper hand on Wyatt. I said, so here we go with this buzz skit. At first, that's how I wanted it to go, but now I said, no, Justin got to die. So, I was like, Wyatt, you disappointed me, but we all know that Wyatt can't fight. Mm -hmm. So, Justin's getting the upper hand on him, and then all of a sudden, we see Jim Cry run through the door to the rescue, basically intimidating, well, really... was trying to intimidate Justin Timberlake, and Justin Timberlake was like, listen, who the hell are you, told um, Wyatt, don't call Jeffrey no more, or <laughs> this ain't what you want. So, this is this is where I got to get into Tyler's high pass again with these unrealistic scenes and whatnot. Okay. Not only is Justin a police officer, he is an officer in the same area, in the same precinct of where you, that's your jurisdiction. Yeah, that's where you work. And you mean to tell me, he don't recognize a judge when he see one? Hmm. And I'm pretty sure he done been in your courtroom and brought Hello. some, brought some suspects in there to be charged for traffic tickets, selling drugs, pushing hookers, whatever Do else what? pushing hookers. <laughs> And all that bitch skit. And his wife is a god darn um judge too. So and and they run me? the town. Yeah, they mean, faces placid every god darn way. They ain't met at the Christmas party, no nothing. Yeah. So Tyler, get your skit together before we come in and we take over your god darn show. This look, these these god darn YouTube videos will be the real show. Well, it is kind of already. Yeah. Huh? Just saying. So. Jim basically pushes old boy out the door and said, listen, I'm going to find out everything about you and your badge number and all of that. And I'm like, Jim, you're, don't even worry about it. it. It's Tyler Land. I'm not even going to think about it too deeply. So why are you turning my page? Oh, my bad. I ain't even... <laughs> God, do it. Now I don't even know where I'm at. I ain't even bring my thing over here. I'm just, yeah, I'm just going to just flow. Let's go. How the hell you gonna flow if I can't flow? Go, just go with it, man. Just go God with it. Don't. It's all right. Good. I gotta go. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Show some love to who? To me. I show you love, but I correct you when you wrong. All right. Over here, just turning my goddamn pages <laughs> like you the one leading this goddamn thing. <laughs> God, don't. You know my I, my mind is gone. So after that went on, um, Jim sitting there talking to his son was like basically, listen, son. If you testify against me and your mother, hmm. your life gonna be skit. This ain't what you want. Why I said, listen. His life is already skit. He said, listen, <laughs> if you think I'm gonna mess up so bad that I'm gonna come back begging to you and mom, you got another thing coming in. Oh, by the way, I already know mama is divorcing you. Yep. So you don't I ain't have got no place to crawl back to. <laughs> you ain't got a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. I thought Wyatt was gonna say, oh, I heard about y'all burnt down that goddamn house, but. <laughs> He ain't say that, basically. But that's what he meant. No, he was basically saying you ain't scared with our mom. So Jim True. said, "Listen, don't make don't make it so that I got to come back over here and, and basically get you out of a predicament mm -hmm. once again when you go back to <laughs> to being on drugs and selling pencils to make it." <laughs> Me. But this is what happened to Jim right here, and I think it's really messing with him. That his intimidation and his flattery tongue. And the way he can manipulate people and get people moving around, people ain't budging on him no more. Nah, he ain't. He only ain't only one that done budged on him so far this season is the girl in the black dress last week. Because she wanted to do it anyway. Yeah, she wanted to do it anyway. He had enough stuff on her to put in jail. She trying to get her life right with the Lord. 
you know. But she understands she got to reap what she sow, so she got to let him sow his raw oats. That's you gross. Know, you know what she I'm trying to say. She gonna get worms. <laughs> so, um, Demonica over at the hospital, her um MD came over there and he's talking to her, telling her, look, all your tests came back negative. If you oh, feel up to it, you can go ahead and go home. I can send you home with some pain meds or whatnot. Oh, she and she was like, oh, hell no. I ain't going back down that road being all co cracked out and coked out and peeled up. <laughs> Not doing it. So he said, listen, are you up to talking to the officer? Because there's been an officer pacing back and forth from your, you know, back and forth to your room the whole time you've been here. And I'm like, Demonica hasn't been unconscious. Yeah, she been sitting there sitting up. She done talked to Benny. She done talked to Melissa. <laughs> What? It makes it makes no sense. She ain't hooked up to nothing to be be knocked out. So I'm like, okay, don't even worry about yeah, it. It don't even All matter. Rosalie, the Ford Motor Company. It don't even matter. So the police officer came in there, and it seemed like the police officer came in there with another intent. But Demonica started talking about being run off the road during the accident, and she was like, "Somebody ran you off the road." Okay, give me the details on that. So she basically said it was a truck. It was a black truck. Didn't see who it was. Homegirl said, "Well, when you remember more, take my car. Give me a call." Demonica said, mm -mm, "I'll call your boss, boss because you don't seem like you yeah. too bright." <laughs> said God, don't. Say God, don't. She don't know how to talk to nobody, right? Just no. talk to everybody down like they ain't scared. And you in a hospital bed. She would have felt stupid if that police officer took it and punched her right between the eye. That was no, just she should have folded her hump or something. Because she bed. already in pain, so she can't fight back. I would have folded up right in that goddamn yeah. bed. Had, Hit had the her, button. Had her sitting up there like this. <laughs> yeah, I would have folded her goddamn tail right up. So, then we got Deacon David. Deacon David is down there at the jail. He is and pissed off, boy. <laughs> he knows that. He can't. He said, I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this. <laughs> <laughs> he, was trying, he was trying to be cool. He didn't know whether to put his suit coat on or keep the suit coat off. He just, he just want to whoop some A right now. He just <laughs> He's so mad that he called his wife and he was like, listen here, you a whole simple me. You, we need to get Jeffrey out of jail now. And she said, I was in an accident, but I'm doing okay. I don't, I don't, I don't even care about that. <laughs> he said, listen, why did you do that? And you need to get him out. And she said, no, he want to play with the boys. So that's the best place for him, to be where the boys are. <laughs> Dick and Dave was like, listen here, you is one simple, evil, conniving. She said, call me a B. Just go ahead and call me a simple bee. I mm. said, what is that? That's that's a target. That's a little trigger. Uh-huh. That's a trigger he was, word. He said, uh, uh, he said, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> He said, by that time she holding, he, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> he wanted to say something. He said, uh, uh, uh. That <laughs> she said, <laughs> he wanted to say something. <laughs> When the older people start making noises, because he under, because he understand when she make threats, she come through. So that's why he was like, she was like, call me a B one more time. She like Hancock said, call me an a hole one more time. <laughs> so um, D Deacon Davis' phone rang right after Demonica hung up on him. So naturally, you think it's the person that just hung up on you. Uh -huh. So he answers the phone and he is in full. I ain't saved no more. Uh huh. You simple, simple B. You are uh, evil, bada 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 B. Erica said, um, oh, "Excuse me. Is everything is everything okay?" He said, "I'm so sorry. My I'm bad. dealing with my ex-wife. <laughs> you go run your errands. I know, first lady, I put you in charge of the communion table this Sunday. Go ahead over there to Lifeway Christian Center and go and get the bread and go again and get the um, grape but, juice, and we're gonna be good." But this is my question. This always happened on shows and movies when people, like you said, people talk to somebody previously, be pissed off, and the phone ring again. Why don't you check the caller ID to see who? Who's calling before you start going off? I can't. I don't have an answer for that one. I don't but have this an is Tyler's world, one. so let him have. Let him get a nut in his own world, because that's the only. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so at the same time, no. Back up a little bit. So once Dick and David, he he don't had this little moment with <laughs> with all the women in his life. <laughs> he uh -huh. don't had this moment with Demonica. Now with Erica, he decided to go ahead and take his hind parts over there and to talk to Justin Timberlake. He said, listen, what's going on between you and my son? Because what y'all got going on, it ain't no. no officer and um 
inmate. An, an inmate situation. Yeah. This is more like, and listen, I already know that my son is gay. So I'm cool with that part. So what's going on? He talking about something. This bull's kid. I ain't gay. I've been delivered. Like, come on. David said I got the videos. It's on Instagram. <laughs> it's on YouTube and Snapchat. Cut the booze, kid. He said, listen. Okay, since you want to play a game, let's go ahead and do it like this. You were over there at Candace Young House when um, Quince's body was found and the mm -hmm. car keys was down up in that hole. Yep. So, keep on playing with me. And I'm going to make the OJ trial look like a freaking joke once I get finished with your you car party. Say hi. I said, no. you go show him an enemy in and the likeness. That he ain't never seen before. And he needed to say that. He should have <laughs> said that. And he walked off. Now, at the same time that he walking off, we having a whole family reunion. He got them candles. What about he said? Mrs. Young comes by. And I was waiting for her to say, Mr. Old. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for her to say, Mr. Old. Well, he looking at her like, well, what the hell is she, she in here for? Yeah. So, naturally, he probably thinking, okay, Demonica got Jeffrey. Now, she got Candace. What? That ain't what the deal is. So then we see um, they conveniently place Candace on a bench right beside the holding cell that they got Jeffrey in. Mm -hmm. And Jeffrey is bugging out. Jeffrey, yeah, he, 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 he done. He, he ain't built for this. Yeah. He worst so, cat. Yeah, don't, don't hang on. No cat. Don't do no dirt with no cat like that. Yeah, because they going to sing. And he basically <clears throat> told Candace, listen, if I don't hear him get up out of here, don't forget I didn't do this by myself. Yeah. So if I don't get out of here ASAP, you and your brother gonna have to take a Candace seat right beside you need to me. Calm your a down. And you need to stop. Talking. Your daddy gonna get you off of this. He was Shut like, up. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. How long is it gonna take? I don't know. He said. He said. Did you see these guys over here? They're disgusting. Candace was like. He said they rude. Pump your brakes. It's gonna be all right. <laughs> no, your problem. Your main problem is Justin. Cause I ain't seen not near one. No, it makes do skit to you. They it was Justin one. You. Yeah, they ain't even stunning you right now. Yeah. So then we see Mitch. <clears throat> now, you forgot that last week, <laughs> um, Benny and Melissa are upstairs alone, and she's seducing the heck out of him. And when we last seen it, he had took his dig on hand and, and reached around here, mm -hmm. and we knew it was about to go down. So, evidently, he been taking a long time, and we been hearing the moans. And Mitch, I say, Lord, have mercy. I ain't going to say it. But we don't just be walking through people's house, but Mitch do. Yep. So Mitch don't pooch him on up there. Upstairs, and he went to eavesdrop at the door, but the door wasn't wasn't hooked in. So and when he, he did he like this, fell through there. The, he just fell through the door. And yeah. Benny is in there giving her the uh, business. Uh -huh. You hear me? He in that popping and stroking, boy. Yes, he gave us a little bit of Showtime and Cinemax at the door. I was in there looking through the crack like this. Say, you know what, y'all? Right. So y'all need to do um set so a video like a, like like Nico and uh, what who's a good name? that was gross. <laughs> um. That was gross. Um, <laughs> they made some good money off of it, though. The legend. So, you said a legend. <laughs> so, ben, Benny was like, "Listen, hurry up, get your Mitch, get out of here, Mitch. Come, Mitch, your purse. He ain't stop. He ain't stop pumping either, though. He get it out here, Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, bitch goes downstairs like, I don't even believe like, what the hell is going on. on. Now, at the same time that he's downstairs, y'all forgot, Demonica has been released from the hospital. Yep. So she comes walking through the door, want to know why Mitch is in the house. And he said, oh, I'm here yeah. with Benny. He's upstairs trying to get your things together. She was like, so... Why he, he even like, asked his phone? Hey, oh, it's in the car. It's in the car. But I'll go upstairs and get him. I said, oh, yeah. He runs upstairs to go get Benny. And Benny was like, listen, didn't I tell you? I told you. Get the hell out. I'm trying to bust. <laughs> and, um... Uh, Mitch was like, no, 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 no. Veronica is here. We need to go, and we need to go right now. So Melissa was like, no, no we no, need to finish. You we need, need to finish. finish. You're like, what? Did you just not hear what Mitch just said? That Veronica is there? <laughs> so, so Benny was like, oh, hell. So he put his clothes on. Mind you, Melissa is still laying on the bed. Bottom ball, nigga. And, and Mitch is like, and she said, you want next? You said, want to go ahead and finish the job no, up? Yeah, he said, he ain't finished, but you can start. You finish. can start. I said, God, what? Do it. And it? Mitch was over there like, should I want to I want to do it. I no, should. I want to do it. Right, we got to go out here. Maybe and, next time? Yeah. <laughs> so they all get back downstairs. And now, Demonica, 
she's looking at Benny with the googly eyes, talking about some my hero. Can you help me upstairs? Now, Melissa done brought her half naked hard parts downstairs with her little robe on. And she was like, what the hell you got on, Melissa? Put some, Put clothes. some clothes on. You trying to, basically, you trying to seduce him? And then Melissa said, so what y'all got going on? Oh. oh. Tell me you didn't. Tell me you didn't. <laughs> And I'm sitting here like, Melissa, please, please, please. Leave it alone. Just leave, leave it, alone. it alone. Just let it be your side piece. What's that song? You I, know I go <laughs> I just thought about this. What? Every scene that Benny getting some puss, somebody it. always busting on it. Oh, yeah. We well, have Veronica at, at, uh, at his mama house, Hannah oh, busting there. Oh, God. <laughs> Next week, somebody else going to bust in on it. Did anybody bust on him when he was in the truck? When he was messing around with him? Oh, I wasn't in the truck. Only when he in the house, he get busted in now. <sighs> so he need to do his stuff in vehicles from now on. Yeah, and the dog. So, afterwards, you know, now DeMonica don't got Benny upstairs. He had to walk upstairs. And she basically told him, look, if I didn't feel bad and I wasn't bruised on the inside, I would push you on this bed. It's a guy. And Come I would on. bust you out one. And I said, mm-mm, honey, because he ain't washed up or nothing. And uh -huh. she kissing him and stuff. And I said, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't smell it? You, you don't, don't smell it? Yeah, because I'm pretty sure Melissa had some perfume on, so I'm pretty sure you don't smell it. I don't know if you went downtown. I don't. Yeah. No. Come yeah. on back. You think? So, <laughs> then, they went ahead and got on up out the door. Now, Mitch is sitting there like, I can't even believe what's going down. No, they ain't even leave yet. Because yeah, before they would leave. Melissa tried to jump on him. Said, I she like tall. did jump on oh, him. I like tall, man. She said, mm. He said, I got to go out in the car. I got to go out in the car. So they finally get, get on up out of there. Benny said, listen, that girl is Oh, she touched. I said yeah. from one touched person to, to, to another, another touched person. You would know. Miss said, she, he said she up in the window. We got to go. And I he, say both of y'all look in touch right now like he this. He said, Benny, I know why you hit that now. We're looking up like it. I said, you know what? <laughs> I said, both of y'all, y'all deserve to be friends. Y'all just the craziest one. But so, like we were talking before the camera came on. See, Benny don't know the rules. When you at somebody else's house getting some, you got to stick and move. Mm -hmm. Said Veronica done checked out, talked to the police, and you still ain't bust one. <laughs> so you got to stick and you got to move. Mm -hmm. Or stick and release and move. Yeah, he ain't a good he ain't a good side dude. Yeah. So, um, so now you gotta go home, jerk off. <laughs> See when the kids watch it, don't yeah, bleep that out. Yeah, bleep. Yeah. Bleep yeah. Bleep. 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 So um then we see Hannah. <laughs> Hannah goes over because you know Catherine been trying to get her over there to her new house to show her new maid um, the ropes around and all that good stuff. Yeah. So when she pulls up, I said, "Are we on the set up or get out?" Yeah, that's that's exactly what it looked like. I would wait for Grandpa to come running. <laughs> running that's when I start seeing those two black guys um, doing the yard. But they did have a Mexican guy there too. But yeah, they had a little Spanish guy doing the lawn. I said, "Y'all are yeah. this stereotypical bullshit." Mm -hmm. But anywho. So Hannah gets to go inside and, you know, Catherine gives her a tour of the chateau. Because I, I said, look at Maddie's house. Go ahead. With the rich white people on the wall. So gave her a tour of the chateau. Basically got her down to the kitchen. And then we are introduced to her new, um, new um, maid, maid um, Joanne. I said, Joanne don't look like no um, maid. She look like a CNA. Yes, yeah, she Don't do. she look like a CNA, y'all? Uh-huh. All CNAs have a look. They yeah, do. they do. And they all all wear the same shirts. Well, they have to. Yeah, the ones with the, <laughs> with the teddy bears on it, the hearts. They ain't got no yeah. other choice. They ain't yeah. got but so many patterns. Yeah. Why they do that to them, though? I don't know. It's blue skin. And them daggone pants that wear make their hard parts look like they're that wide when they're not. Mm -hmm. So, um. You got to wear those orthopedic shoes. Make sure the feet won't hurt them after they wear them. Them shoes comfortable, though. Yeah, they got to wear them. Make they sure ugly the feet as hell, though. Yeah, well, at least your feet don't be hurting after you done pull yeah. an 8, 12, or 16 hour shift. Mm. Well, the um, title of the episode was <laughs> Hannah's Tea. So I was thinking we was going to get some more of Hannah's dirt and whatnot. But that ain't what it was. Yeah. What had happened was while they was in the kitchen, dirt pops up. Yeah. And conveniently, <laughs> Catherine takes oh, Joanne the, uh, and goes... Oh, this is a scene we were waiting for right exit here. Exit stage left. Yeah. Now, all of a sudden, Catherine yells back at Hannah and says, Hey, fix dirt some of your famous um, tea. The and best in some... What was it, Savannah? I think they're in Savannah. Savannah, yeah. Yeah. So, Catherine was like, 
just 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 do it it's gonna be all right you know hannah she ain't she ain't with it she ain't for it lord let me tell y'all something i laugh my tail off the jedi if y'all don't know about him that's the cousin go over there to his channel he said uh, his review last week he said because he hates hannah just as much as everybody else he said hannah ain't got a pot to piss in or a window to throw up how she afford some bundles <laughs> and if i didn't giggle he said where she get the bundles from <sighs> i said you know what it's <laughs> income tax point. look it's income tax season yeah. everybody got bundles <laughs> yep that's why i ain't fixed my hair i'm too bitter selling it so um so we got Derek. now Derek is giving the rundown about you know who he is Got three kids. Got three kids. He was married for 30 years. Yeah. You Sorry. know, his wife died of cancer. This, that, and the third. Now, Hannah's still giving him cold shoulder. Cold shoulder. What did I say last week? Uh-huh. What did I say last uh -huh. week? Uh-huh. Y'all were if, judging me. If the Lord's name is not attached to it, you ain't gonna do it. You don't want to hear it. Nope. You don't want to go on a date. Nope. Now, all of a sudden, Mr. Derek quoted a scripture. And she was like, oh. And he said he a deacon at the church. And like, she said, oh, uh. Oh, yeah? What? Huh? Deacon? Well, what church you go to? And she named off some church. And I said, when? Yeah, I've been when, looking you, at, when you go to church? I've been looking at this guy doing. I've been looking at it from, from season one. I ain't never, I never seen, seen you, you go to church. church. I huh? ain't seen you eat a piece of bread to do communion with. Huh? I ain't seen you drink no well jazz. Where? I don't even. What? I don't want them seeing you pray and read scriptures and quote scriptures. And they, that's when it's convenient for you. Yeah, so now all of a sudden. You got clapback scriptures. Now all of a sudden, Dirk looks wonderful now because he's a deacon. Because he's a man of the Lord. That don't mean get. <laughs> and she said, <laughs> when I first met you, I thought you, you were was on, on the prowl. All the man did was ask you out <laughs> for coffee. So all of a sudden now because he a deacon. He, he ain't on the prowl no yeah, more. Yeah, he ain't on the prowl. The yeah. Lord sent them. Yeah. Cause a cause a man to find of a wife. Finds a good god darn thing. Yeah. And I'm wife and material. Yes, indeed. And I'm husband material. And I'm hey. on, and I'm chasing you down. I'm chasing down <laughs> you. So I say, you know what, Hannah? I don't have time for you today or not nail day. But anyway, they seem to be hitting it off. And Dury say, you know, of course they is. We gonna pretend that this is our little coffee date. But if uh -huh. we like the conversation going forward, we'll go on an official date. How about that? And now because he a man, uh, the, you know, sent by the Lord, mm -hmm. it's all right. She go consider it. I said I don't have time for this, Hannah. But I told y'all last but, week. But Hannah did bring up a good point. I'm gonna speak to this real quick because I understand. It. Yeah. Y'all probably get pissed off, especially if you single in church. Uh, it's stupid. But uh, she said, I know good looking man like yourself. I know the women is throwing themselves down here at the church. He said, you don't even know. But he said, I'm a southern gentleman. I want to be the one to do the chasing. Women. Women, women, women. I dealt with that when I was single in church. Y'all just, uh, uh, I mean, just. Just knock brothers down. Don't even give them a... They just, they just coming in church. They just coming up the street selling weed, getting a whole bunch of sex. They trying to get their life together. Here you go with throwing it all up on them. Why they trying... Let them get their life together and let them chase you. So I ain't gonna charge you nothing for that. Yeah, don't... So when she came mind. along, oh God. not chasing, beautiful, sexy, fine, everything right, they got mad. Oh, they were pissed at me. They were mad. They was like, is she even saved? Mm -hmm. They were mad. <laughs> but I had an opportunity to chase after her. But I had some thugs in the church, though, that knew me. Because I did, I did most of the women in the um, church, I did their hair. Mm -hmm. yep. Most of them knew me. Um, come cool, cat. Once you get to know me, you like me. I mean, it's just how it is. So people was vouching but, for me. They was like, you know, she may not be where y'all want her to be. But that's good, girl. That's good stock right there. Yeah. <laughs> And, and 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 if and, and, and if and let me say this right here. Cause you were the golden boy. Yeah, let me. I'm gonna say this as easy as I can say it. You know, not try to hurt no feelings, but it just might piss Don't you off. Nobody care about no feelings. Do something with yourself if you want a man. That's all I'm gonna say right there. Do something with yourself. Don't just say I'm just believing in Lord for a husband. But, but you don't do. Hell. But you don't do nothing with your how. You don't do nothing but the clothes you put on, nothing with your shoes. You don't put no makeup. You don't do nothing. You just, you just, you just want to come and shout. Yeah, do something with yourself. Yeah, throw that in there for free. I guarantee you do that within six, six months to a year, you have a man. I'll tell you, the Lord will bless you.
after you bless yourself. All right, roll count. <laughs> that was a <laughs> deep. That was, you, I just shut up and I, I, you needed to release that, didn't you? I have said it before. You have said it before. I have said it before. It, it I, have said, I, have said it, no, I have said it at church. I have said it in public. And now I've said it on YouTube. Get yourself together. Within six. No, the Lord said, if you get yourself together. <laughs> shut up, Stanley. <laughs> I just caught that. Because you know y'all didn't hear none of that yeah. until he said The Lord said it. Now you can receive it. Y'all dumb. <laughs> and I know y'all over there cracking. Ooh. But we're going to move on and we're going to close out this, yeah. this part of the service. And we're going to give y'all the benediction so that y'all can go and eat y'all fried chicken. Yeah. So now we, <laughs> we over there <laughs> and Candace gets put in the cell with Quita Maxwell. Maxwell. I said, oh, hell, here we go. Here we Somebody go. Somebody called her something in the comments last week. Was it Quita all mixed up or Quita? It was something. It was yeah, hilarious. it all fits. So, Quita says, "Hey, you finally get locked up for the murder of my brother. Karma is a big fat B. Because mm. <laughs> what goes around comes around. So they're going back and forth. I mean, just da 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 da. You killed my brother. Oh, but my brother loved you. He was a good man, treated like, you what? well. And he loved you so much. That's why he went upside your head. And I said, Quito. Hey, what? Did you hear yourself talking? Do you? What? what? But I'm what? glad Tyler kind of did plug that in. But I, I, Candace was like, But wait people a didn't minute. believe that, though. People believe that. Yeah. Candace said, Wait a minute, what? He he whooped my high boys because he loved me so much. Okay, whatever. And then she said, but you know what? <clears throat> like I said, what goes around comes around. You took my brother Q, buried him in the backyard. Didn't even give him a proper funeral. But, uh, hmm. Funny I how, said, don't you go there. I said, ooh. I said, don't you, don't you go there. She said, funny how the wheels turn. <clears throat> your baby. Your mama stole him from my house. Cut into my check. I said, you know what? Yeah. And she said, hmm. From what I heard, got all shot up in the bathroom. Now, if he was at my house, he he'd still be alive. He still be alive. Now you can see Candace over there. She burning. She, she can't even get it together. I said, yeah. oh hell. Them eyes started getting dark. Mm hmm And I said, oh hell. And the next I day, hear, I, I know, start hearing that song, Whoop That Trick. No. Get him, Whoop That Trick. Uh -oh, what's, what's that thing when them, I, them, uh, them, the muzzles be doing them got on pranks on YouTube where it says, Run. <laughs> Run. <laughs> Candace dived on Quita's high parts and she her was tail, giving her, boy. She, she was give, giving her the business, I'm telling you. She was giving her the one and the two piece with uh, the biscuit and, uh -huh. the, and the jelly she and. Wah, 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 wah. I said, that came from a place, Candace. Uh -huh. What's going on? Hey. And it went off from there because the guard came in there to break the thing up. And I said, I want to see more. This guy. But that's the way I wanted to see why what got thrown Jeffrey's got. I mean, uh, Justin's tail. Yeah. Now, we we just gonna play a game. It ain't even it ain't even real. But it is real. But because a whole lot of times that who you are in acting is a little piece of yourself. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Candace and Justin are together in real life. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine what their arguments are like? Huh. <laughs> Crazy as hell. Who called you? <laughs> Who sent you that email? <laughs> Ain't nobody. You know what? <laughs> yeah, whatever. But into who? But, this was a good episode. Yeah, this was a good episode. It, it was and, moving slow, though. And uh, next week, it looked like it's going to be on fire again. But I'm not going to put my hopes up until I actually see it with my own about well we're gonna see that um that they they go now hold on what don't even worry about it i was gonna say how in the hell did um dick and david find out where the monica lived at that's right because she never Next told week. him uh -uh. she never but i guess maybe maybe tyler gonna fill it in and no we're know, not no know. we're not just like when um when they got doing jim cry bust up in there to say why talking about something i'm in a building walking through a building that i own so what you the what are what? you? Oh, what? You the landlord now? Like and last you, time I checked, you don't own that. Catherine owns all that booze. And he said, I just happened to hear two men fighting and one happened to So you just walk through the door. But anyway. Bye, y'all. But anyway. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Sue up. Sue down.